Okay, so the next presentation is by Mr. Azlai Azha. He is currently working in Hiroshima Prefecture, which is located in Western Japan. So he is attending the event from there. Uh, Azlai, um, can you begin whenever you're ready? Okay, great. And a very good afternoon I wish to all of you here. And it's been my absolute pleasure to be selected as the panel to share some of the insight of me being the former SIT student. So I shall start about with my okay outline today. So I will start with my self-introduction, followed by my academic background and why I've chosen Japan and SIT as my preferred university. And I'll, I'll show you the, my former life being an, uh, being a SIT student and also my current prospect. So first right up is my self introduction. Well, I was hailing, I am hailing from the city called Kotabaru in the Kelantan state in Malaysia. And I do enjoy travel, photography, and also reading. And my life motto is to be fearless. And moving on to the academic background. So I've, after I've graduated high school, I've been in the Malaysia Japan Higher Education Program, which is a diploma program for three years. After that, I transferred my credit for another two years in Takushoku University in Japan, where I majored in the degree of in mechanical system engineering. And then after I've graduated my degree, I thought to myself that uh, doing the job is not exactly what I want to do at that time. So I uh, thought of myself to pursue into my master in Shibara Institute of Technology for further two years in Mastechi Master in Mechanical Engineering. And I've graduated just last year in March 2020. And the reason on why I've specific, specifically chosen Japan and SIT, well, it's stated right over here. Well, Japan, when you think of Japan, you think of being a high advanced technological country it is. Well, surely it is and also the safety aspect of being in japan itself and also the quality of education that japan would offer and the reason on why i've select specifically chosen sit as my preferred university well first and foremost well the ranking is very i think it's currently top 30 as a current ranking and also the number of courses that the sit offered well, I was overwhelmed at first on choosing which course should I take during my master. And also, I would like to point out how SIT is very active in promoting the internationalization, where we don't actually have the students, but we also have the lecturers coming from all over the world. So that's the plus point of choosing SIT. And moving on to the main agenda for my talk today. So I'll show you my former life of being a SIT student. So here I divided into five subtopic, which include how the lecture was like, and also my research work and research lab, followed by the international programs and the academic conference that I have participated throughout my two years of study there and also how we mingling among the local and also the foreign students and what kind of the campus activities and event that was held uh, before. And the first up is the lecture. So as you can see from the picture over there, so that's actually the how the lecture in progress. You can see also of students and also the lecturers. And aside from the lecture that was held in the class, we also have a field trip where the whole class took a bus and go to somewhere to learn about outdoor, the field trip. And for example, the right side is the when we went to the Mitsubishi Electric. So they showcased the, their latest invention and we got to learn so many things about Mitsubishi. And the lower part of the picture is we, when we actually went to the steel manufacturing company, so we could actually see hands on on how the manufacturing process of uh, steel had been conducted. So it was really uh, interesting not to just learn inside the lecture, but also to do the lecture process outside of the classroom itself. 
and this I would like to show you my research activity laboratory. So I I belong in the materials engineering lab. So my research topic was about the this crystal to study about this crystal called the quartzite crystal and to be used as a, ma a hydrogen storage materials. So that's actually how I conducted my analysis of my materials. And you can see on the right side is the actual, the actual microscope that I've been used, which is the scanning electron microscope. And on the right side, you can also see some of the apparatus that I have been using throughout my research uh, study for two years. And on the lower left side, you can see that's the desk in my lab. And lower part of the picture, you can see that's the like my lab mates, where you can see that we have quite an international landscape here because we're coming from the, uh, we have, well, the Japanese themselves and also some African students from coming from Congo, Malaysia, Indonesia, and also we can see here, it's, ah, yeah, Poland. And uh, as a matter of fact here, our vice president, Professor Takasaki is my supervisor. So he had done a very good job in commanding the lab. And moving on to the next process, a uh, next uh, slide, which is the international programs and also the academic conference that I've joined before. So clockwise from clockwise, the first picture is when I've joined the CTAC symposium that was held in Vietnam in 2019. And the night right next to me is the, my professor, my supervisor, Professor Takasaki. And the middle one is actually the, that was held in Tanzania, in Afri African country. And it was such a, what I can say, humbling experience to be able to go as far as Tanzania to present my research topic. So actually on the right side is the me presenting my research findings. And it was really a nerve wracking experience because in the same parallel session, there was like a, lecturers and students coming from Ivy League University, coming from MIT, Stanford. And to be able, for me to be able to present my research topics in front of them was truly really a remarkable experience, I might say. And also the lower part of the picture is when I've joined the Global Project Based Learning, GPBL, that was held in Bangkok, Thailand. So coming from, as a student standpoint, to be able to go like, basically whole, the whole world to just do what you love to do is such a really a rewarding experience and I'm really thankful for SIT for sponsoring all of this. Thank you. And also the local and foreign students interaction. You can see I'm also one of the members in the Global Learning Commons. So we actually handle and also plan the event that was specifically for the students. You can see other than the event itself, we also got the time to hang out together and this a picture, you can see that we had a dinner together, I think. And also for the event itself, we got to manage and uh, just planning about the event itself. And it was a really interesting experience to be working with all of these people. And moving on to the campus activities and also events. So throughout the year, we conducted various of events and uh, for example open campus that was held in summer so we, the pub the event is open to public so the public can just come to the, into the campus and see what are the students life is like and what are the laboratories and what the lectures room is like so they give um, an insight for them to know what the student of SIT are actually doing and actually uh also the SIT festival that was held in fall. So you can see that was me holding the promotion board, selling our mi curry during the, so we actually, the students of our Malaysian group, students uh, set up our booth and we sold that. And we, also at the lower part, we can, you can see that the career workshop, this kind of workshop specifically for the student was held throughout the year so that for this, Specific event, it was a career. So the student would give an, the tips and trick for the students to ace their uh, interview for the job application. And lastly, for my current prospect, I have graduated just last year in March. And from April 2020, I've been offered a job as an equipment engineer in a micro memory Japan in Hiroshima. 
So my task as an equipment engineer is for the tool installation. As you can see in the middle picture, is actually the tool that we use to manufacture the semiconductor. The semiconductor part, you can see on the right side, which is the DRAM and also a non. So we, uh, my task is actually to build, to install that tool right from the very beginning. And also, uh, I'm also in charge of the tool problem handling and recovery and also the cost reduction. So all in all, what can I say is I am very honored and very thankful to be able to enroll into SIT and looking at how many doors had it opened for me to venture into my, to just, uh, to just go all out for my all, to just go all out and be able to achieve what I've been, been dreaming to achieve thus far. So, so yeah, basically that's it for today from me. Thank you.